Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is Family Tech and I am Sarah. This is the channel that will help you understand and manage the technology in your home, giving you all the tech tips and advice that you didn't even know you needed. If you want to support this channel, please go ahead and subscribe and like this video. Today we are talking about productivity apps. This is one of my favorite topics. I am a sucker for productivity apps. I download them all the time. I'm always checking out new productivity apps and I'm going to lay out the best ones for you in this video. Hello friends, I'm Sarah Kimmel, your friendly neighborhood tech expert. You can find me helping families with tech problems on TV news, podcasts, Instagram, Facebook, and my website, familytechzone.com. So I'm going to break all of these productivity apps into different categories. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and timestamp the description so that you can get to exactly which category you are looking for apps on. We're going to start out with to-do lists. So to-do lists are kind of my favorite thing. I have tried every single to-do list application. My favorite to-do list application is called Tick Tick. And what I really love about Tick Tick is I can organize all sorts of different lists. I can also create habit and check off different habits during the day. It doesn't clutter up my main to-do list because I want to keep track of those habits. It also has a Pomodoro timer. So if I need to focus on something for 20 minutes, I can just set that, assign it to a task and get going on that task. Uh, like I said, I can create all sorts of lists that, you know, I have idea lists for different videos I'm going to create, different Instagram reels I'm going to create. So I can separate all of those lists out and have them available whenever I need them, but they're not going to clutter up my today screen where I can just put in the most important tasks that I have to do that day. Um, so if you see me on the street and you ask me to do something and you don't see me put it in Tick Tick right away, it's probably not happening because I have a terrible short-term memory and I will forget that task. So um, Tick Tick is my absolute favorite. There's, you know, iOS, there's Android, there's a web version. You can access it from anywhere. I can access my task list even on my Google Home. So Tick Tick is really great. It's missing one feature that I would really love and that is to keep track of goals. Like I want to keep a goal target date and I want progress and I want to be able to uh, track all of that. So it's just missing goals, but I have another application that I use for goals, but I love Tick Tick. It is my favorite to-do list application. You definitely want to go check that out. The honorable mentions for to-do list, I'm going to say is to-do-ist. Um, it's fine. I like it. I don't love it. Um, I also really like Google Tasks and Microsoft's to-do because if there's anything that I really want to integrate into the rest of my life, you know, so I have a lot of Google stuff for my family tech stuff, and then I live in Microsoft for my job. So I generally keep a lot of my job tasks within Microsoft to-do just because I like to separate out that stuff. So when I'm just working on my job, I'm concentrating just on those tasks. If I want to concentrate on personal tasks, I'll go over to Tick Tick. Um, and then Google, I have a lot of my family tech tasks in there. So um, I do use a few different to do lists. I can consolidate it all into Tick Tick and still just do the same thing. If I'm concentrating on work, I can just move over to the work list. But I really like to just get all of the personal stuff out of my way. I am in Microsoft when I'm at work because I'm just working on work stuff. So those are the different to-do list applications that I love. So let's move on to goals because I said Tick Tick is only missing one thing and that one thing is goals. So I have a different application that I love to use for goals. Now I've gone back and forth on this, but um, I will say this one made it to the top of the list. It's called Success Wizard. Now the funny thing with Success Wizard is they have like three or four different applications that really all do the same thing, but are slightly tweaked. And so it's very strange. I'm not sure why they don't just consolidate into one. There's Goals Wizard, but I like Success Wizard better than Goals. There's Productivity Wizard. Again, I like 
like Success Wizard. Um, like I said, they're all almost exactly the same. They just handle things a little differently. And if I log into one of those others, I still see my data if I log in with the same account. And so it's very strange, but Success Wizard is the one that I like the most. And what I like about Success Wizards is I can set my goals and then I have um, progress related goals so I can have milestones for each goal. So say I have a su subscriber count on YouTube that I want to um, hit. So if I put that in as a goal, I can put milestone counts. And when I hit those milestones, I can check those off. I can see that I'm progressing to that goal and it's really great to track that progress I can see the line just continuing to go up and it's great so I really like that for tracking goals and what I like also is I kind of got this idea from this other application that I'm going to mention in a minute um, but I love that I can assign different tasks to these goals and as I'm completing those tasks they're basically working with that goal but I can set up recurring appointments and recurring tasks for those goals and I can keep track of it and just check everything off that I need to do each day um, that is helping me get to that goal. So what I also like about Success Wizard is I can block out my day. So I can take, you know, from this time to this time, I'm going to be at work. Uh, from this time to this time, I'm going to work on my YouTube channel. From this time to this time, I'm going to work on my Instagram. And it's going to send me notifications when those timelines are starting. So, oh, okay, it's time to work on my YouTube channel. Oh, okay, it's time to work on my Instagram. So these notifications really help me maintain that schedule and maintain the productivity I have throughout the entire day. And then I'm also checking off tasks and routine items as I'm going through my day. So at the end of the day, I can see that I've gotten everything done. What I like about Success Wizard is it has um, some stuff at the top where it's letting me know my progress throughout the day. If I'm you know, doing well on my productivity, I'm getting all my tasks accomplished. So I really like that. Um, I also like that it has this morning routine and evening routine where it's asking me questions that um, for kind of self-reflection. So I can go in there, I can do the self-reflection questions in the morning, um, helps me kind of gear up for my day. At the evening, I can do those self-reflection questions in the evening, see how I did during the day, and where I can improve on the next day. So I really do like Success Wizard. Um, because I like Tick Tick so much, I don't put my tasks in Success Wizard, but if I was using that as my to-do list application, it would be fine. But I like Tick Tick way better. And what I didn't like about Success Wizard is I had notes and lists that I could create, but those didn't seem to transfer over to the different phones and things I was using. And when I changed to a new phone, those lists didn't come over in my account. So I uh, kind of got scared to put put things in the list there and I went back to Tick Tick. So if it handled those things a little better, so right now I'm really only using Success Wizard to track my goals. I still do all my to-do items in Tick Tick, but if you use Success Wizard as a to-do list item as well, um, it's a great kind of well-rounded application for that. Um, so the second app, my honorable mention app is called Dreamfora and that's spelled with an F, so Dream and then F-O-R-A. I really like that it has a lot of similar features for goal tracking that Success Wizard has where I can set up habits and I can set up tasks for those goals. Um, you know, so a habit would be I post uh, an Instagram reel every day and then a task would be like I batch create all of my Instagram Reels or something like that. So habits and tasks are handled slightly differently. What I don't like about Dream4 is its initial screen. So when you open up the app, it has this like initial screen and it has this big button to like set up um, a, a goal. I would really like to just see my goals right there when I open up the app. I don't need this giant button telling me that I can set up another goal when I'm like, I already have my goals created, just show me my goals 
you know. So I think they could handle that dashboard screen slightly better, and that's one reason I really default to Success Wizard for my goal tracking. Also, I would love to be able to track progress, which I can do in Success Wizard. So with, with Dreamfora, I don't have a place where I can like put in my numbers every day. So if I'm tracking subscriber count, say, uh, I can put in my subscriber count every day on Success Wizard, but I can't do that on Dreamfora. And so I really like to see that change. It helps me get excited about my progress, see where I've come from and where I'm going. So, um, so Dreamfora is great, but like I said, Success Wizard is my top pick. So I mentioned in Success Wizard that I can set up a time block for the day, like different time blocks. If you are just just looking for that particular feature. You just want something to show you time blocks for the day. I really like time tune and that's going to help you set up different routines for different days of the week. Um, if you have the same routine for Monday through Friday, it's going to help you kind of organize all of that into those routines so you can see exactly what you're supposed to be doing at what time every day. Um, I'm a huge routine person. I am stuck in my routines. I do this at this time. I do this at this time. I wake up at this time. I go to bed at this time. So um, I love, love, love routines. I love eating the same thing every day. Uh, it's just kind of my thing. So um, I really like Time Tune. There's another app called Routinery, which I also really like because you don't necessarily have to start it at a particular time, but when you start it, it can tap you through each routine item. So, you know, you wake up and then you get ready and then you work out and then you eat breakfast and then you take a shower. And if you want to, you know, remember exactly what you're going to do every day in the same order, it's a great way to help you remember that. So, you know, you have your morning routine, you have your evening routine, and it's a great one to set up for your kids too so they can see, okay, I have to do this next, I have to do this next. Helps them with their own routines. So that's routine or re. I like both of these kind of equally. Um, like I said, with time tune, you're going to set specific time frames with routinery you can set the how long each thing is going to take but you can start it and stop it at any time so um, I really like both of those for routines all right let's move on to budgeting apps this is one that a lot of people ask about my favorite budgeting app is called envelopes <laughs> And I know it's kind of tricky, but it's just M then envelopes, like an, an envelope, but it's envelopes. Um, and what I really like about envelopes is it makes sense to me. A lot of budgeting apps, like I do use Mint, but I don't use the budget in Mint. Um, there's other budgeting apps that have you set up a budget and tell you, you know, or you tell it what amount you want to spend in each category. What I like about envelopes is you actually categorize the amount of money that you already have in your bank account. So basically when you're looking at what's in envelopes, you see how much money is left in each virtual envelope. And so your bank account is basically broken into different categories. So if I need to go to the grocery store, I can pull up the app and see, okay, I have $300 in my grocery envelope that I can spend for groceries. And when you get your paycheck, you can set it up so it automatically distributes the money into the different categories. So, you know, say uh, for this paycheck, I put this much towards mortgage and I put this much towards electricity and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And it's going to dump all that money into the different envelopes. So when the bill comes, you just take the money out of the virtual envelope and pay the bill. So it can sync with your bank account. So you don't have to manually enter your transactions or anything. There's a web version. There's a app version. I really, really like it. It's the way my brain works when I'm budgeting. So that's my favorite thing. A couple other ones, you know, there's every dollar. This is the Dave Ramsey app, which I would assume is more like envelopes but it's not um, again it's you're telling it how much you can spend in each envelope but and then you can see how much you have spent in each envelope but it doesn't really keep that running total so if I've got money left over in the envelope from the month before it's hard to see that in the envelope in the Dave Ramsey app which is every dollar you know I want to see exactly 
what each dollar in my bank account is earmarked for, which is why I like envelopes. But so there's the Dave Ramsey app, uh, every dollar, that's my honorable mention. And my other honorable mention is You Need a Budget, very popular app. But again, I like envelopes because that's the way my brain works. One type of app I get asked about all the time is chores. Uh, so everybody wants to find a good chores app. I actually haven't found one that is perfect for me yet. Um, I'm gonna give you the two that are pretty close, but there's definitely things I like and things I don't like. No, um, I haven't found you know that Golden Goose Chores app that um, has all the features that I would want in an app. So the two that I really like, and there are apps that tie to bank accounts like Greenlight and Busy Kid and things like that. I have not found that those um, are really good at chore app allocation. Uh, and so I do their chores, their money separately, and we do something else with the chores app. So, you know, they get an allowance. I really would love to see something that's combined, but I didn't like the way Greenlight worked. I didn't like Busy Kid. I've tried them all. Um, these are the chores apps that I really like. Um, so the chores apps that I'm going to give them both. I choose our home. I think that one's the best because I can also include myself in those chores. Um, you can have a competition with your siblings as to how many points you're getting. So we put value on points and you know they have to have all their chores done. They can accumulate these points. They can trade them in for something, you know, for more money and their allowance or anything like that, but they can I can also look at it and be like, "Hey, you haven't done your chores all week. I'm not going to pay you your allowance so I can pause the allowance but that again that would be a separate application but our home is my favorite I like the way it works the best my runner-up is s'mores up um, it's a little cutesy so you know if you have older kids they might not enjoy using it they'd probably prefer something like our home but s'mores up is actually a really cute app um, it's a great way to help them understand you know what chores that they have and help them check it off the main problem i have with both of these applications is they don't work offline so a lot of times i like to pause the internet for my kids until their chores are done but they can't check off their chores because their device is paused on the internet so it kind of creates this loop where you know they can't find out what their chores are because they can't access the app, but I don't want to give them access because their chores aren't done, so it's the chicken and the egg. So I'd really like to see an application solve that problem for me. I need an offline mode. So next up is journaling. Um, this is one area that I really like. You know, I like to keep a journal. I have kept journals since I was a kid. I have journals from when I was six years old, and we had a 6.0 earthquake. Um, I lived in San Jose, California at the time, and I was writing in my journal. I wanted to talk about the 6.0 earthquake we had. My dad helped me write it and spelled it wrong. So I have in my journal from when I was six that we had a 6.0 earthquake. Um, so I love writing in journals. I love going back and reading what I've written. You know, my journals from high school are hilarious. You know, I was a little bit boy crazy, so I have a lot of stuff about boys in my journal but I would still like to write in journals I have three different journal applications that I want to talk about because they each do something different so we're not gonna have a winner and an honorable mention it's going to be the three journal apps and whatever makes more sense for you is what you should pick so the first one I'm gonna talk about is write a day and what I really like about this one is it's just quick sentences that you write throughout the day so if something happens yep filmed a YouTube video I'd write you know oh filmed a YouTube video about productivity apps and then the, that sentence would be there and then the next sentence you know picked up my kids from school etc 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 so you're kind of constantly going throughout the day writing these quick little sentences or something funny your kid says you can write it down so you're kind of thinking about it all through the day because I have a hard time sometimes at night when I'm going to write in my journal I'm like what did I do today I don't even remember what happened today and so it's hard for me to write in my journal because I don't remember what happened so having this you know just little sentences you write throughout the day and then at the end of the day if you want to combine that into something else and write out something further you can do that but I love those just little reminders throughout the day 
of what I've been doing. So that's write a day. The second one I'm going to talk about is called Grid Diary. And what I really like about Grid Diary is I can set up these different questions for myself and I can answer these questions. Again, it's kind of like when we talked about Success Wizard where I'm reflecting on my day through these specific questions like, oh, what is my daily affirmation for today? What um, did you do something nice for somebody else today? Etc. Etc. So it's these specific questions and I can customize the questions to whatever I want to be asking myself every morning, every night, whatever. And then I can also set up different questions for the end of the week so I can reflect on the entire week. I can reflect on the entire month with different questions for the month. I really like this grid diary. It can also show me like what is on my schedule for the day. It's kind of more of a guided aspect and a guided way to journal and I really like that. Last up we have Journey and Journey is what I actually use the most. Sometimes I'll copy data from these other two kind of journaling applications. So like if I'm if I've been really good at write a day and I have a whole thing, I'll export that information and I'll put it in Journey and then I'll write up something further about my day in Journey. But with Journey, I can add pictures to the day. It's kind of more like a blog or whatever, but that's just for yourself. So it's just journal entries that you are writing. You can you know, put in pictures, you can look back, you can even have prompts that you sign up for, like it's going to ask you what made you happy today or whatever. So you can sign up for these journaling prompts to help you understand or know what you should write about because again, I'll get to the end of the day and I'm like, I have no idea what to write. And so these prompts can really help you, you know, have some self-reflection and improve what you've got going on um, just through analyzing what's going on in your life. For fitness, I think there is no better app than MyFitnessPal. It is probably the most used app um, for fitness throughout the country, maybe throughout the world. Um, it's a really good great way to track your calories and track everything. Basically, you can track your workouts and it syncs with a lot of different programs. So if I am tracking a workout in my Garmin, that can automatically be loaded into my fitness pal and it can really just help you understand what you're eating, what you're doing to help you with your fitness. So uh, I love my fitness pal. It's got a huge database of food and all sorts of things so that you can easily count your calories um, that you've been eating throughout the day and go from there. And I love that, you know, with the exercise, it's going to subtract that from your calorie count for the day. So it's just a really good broad tool to help you get your fitness dialed in. And there is no honorable mention on this one. My fitness pal is pretty much it. So those are all of my favorite productivity apps. I'm sure you've got some as well. I would love to check them out. So if you have some, I probably have already checked it out because I literally download new productivity apps all the time. But leave a comment if you've got one that you think I should check out. Try these ones out. Let me know how you like them. Let me know what you think about them. None of this review is paid. These are just all of the applications that I use for productivity on a regular basis. If you want to support my channel, please make sure you're subscribed, like this video. You can also hit me up on Instagram. I am open in my direct messages on Instagram. So if you have any questions at all and you want to speak directly to me, definitely hit me up over there and we will see you next Thursday. Mm -hmm.